Yeah, hello, this is Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. As you can see, I currently have a new device on my table. Now, this particular type of device has actually been sent to me as a gift. Now, the people that sent me this are actually sent by QRD Games. Now, QRD Games, they have a plethora of different types of products that they sell on their website. They essentially sell controllers, they sell levelless um, controllers, and they sell, I believe, other particular parts of the controller as well so if you check on the products we see that they have other particular types of controllers here as you can see they're all modified to your pleasure as you can see but the one that we currently have right now is the QRD Maestro S3 wireless levelless controller now it is pricey for what it is basically entailing here on the website but for the key functions that it currently has right now this particular controller has basically everything that you may need for somebody who is trying to get into using a lever action type of controller so for what this beauty is basically showcased here i'm going to explain a couple of things of what the key features of this particular device holds now for one as you see it has beautiful led lights and you can change the led lights to your pleasure i keep saying pleasure because i don't know how to have a larger vocabulary yeah okay either way so you can hold these two buttons that are right here you can't really see them because i don't have lighting great but you can see that I, there's actually an l3 and an r3 buttons on each side one on my left is the l3 and on my right it is the R3. Now on video, it may be looking like I'm using my left hand, but no, this is my right. So either way, by holding these two buttons together, you can change the actual LED lighting. As you can see, it changes to red. Well, this one is actually kind of pink, but on the video, it might look like it's actually red. Then you have a more yellow light. Then you have blue. Then you have purple. And restart, you have green. You have a dark blue. Then you have red and you repeat. So essentially you can change your colors by just simply holding these two buttons together and you can then change your LED lights the way you like. Now it also has other features as well like for example on the middle there is actually a touchpad similar to the PlayStation controllers like the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5. So you can also do that as well. Press these buttons and you can also control some of the actions that you see in game uh, depending on which game you're playing exactly. Uh, it has an option button so you can press start essentially. Your option essentially is your start button. It has a Q button which I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not really sure what that's for but I'm guessing that you can hold it down and that activates the device that you're using so on my case I wasn't turning on so I instead turned it on by essentially pressing this one button right here where I'm looking at if you can see it on the camera maybe if I do this you can see it now that is the reset button so you can essentially press that and that turned on the device for me it also has a share button as well it also has a turbo function now the turbo function works exactly what you may think it does. If you have used any other modded controllers or any other particular controllers like game pads and so forth that have this feature. And what that essentially does for you is that it can control exactly certain buttons on your levelless and essentially repeat the same action over and over again. So if let's say if you're playing an anime fighting game, right? And there is like a light punch, you wanna press light punch mul multiple times, but you don't wanna press it each time. You just hold the button down and it will repeat the same action again and again and again. You can also designate exactly which button you want it to turbo exactly. So if you don't want it to be on one button specifically or all buttons, then you can just specifically choose which one you want and it will have that particular button getting turboed. It also has the functionality if you want it continuously or infinitely. So that depends on you how you want to control that. 
Then there's a functionality with the device that if you hold the jump button, which is this big button right here, to the option button all the way right here, which if you can see, and if you hold it down together that actually changes the i guess you can say it's called socd uh functionality with the device basically it means that if we go into the game i'm gonna show you exactly what it does but here we go so essentially if you hold these two buttons down it activates an sod uh type of change to the device now right now it's in the socd one feature of program that is on and this allows it so that if you're holding up and down on the two keys, it does nothing. And if you hold left and right, it also does nothing. It essentially puts you at neutral. Now, the functionality I'm currently in right now is SO, sorry, SSOCD2, not the one. Now, if I change it now, it would actually go into the easy mode variation. Now for this function, it doesn't really demonstrate well enough in Tekken, but it does showcase that, at least from the menu, or the manual I mean, try to go for any hard command inputs in the game, like let's say cursor go forward, it becomes easier to implement. I don't know what that actually means, like let's say in Mortal Kombat, you know if you press uh, down and forward, that essentially allows you to do a cursor go forward motion, without having to do an actual motion with the, you know, actual half circle motion it supposedly helps you helps you out in that feature if that makes sense and then if you continue again right there it blinked now it's in socd one mode and again with this one if i do up and down it would always press up but if i'm pressing left and right it would always be a neutral so it would always be a neutral when you're pressing left and right in this form now i tend to have it in the other mode which is the socd2 uh, variation so when i'm let's say accidentally pressing both keys on left and right it'll stay neutral up and down it'll stay neutral as well so it won't just continuously repeat the same motion over and over again now other functions that the device also has is that it also has its own automatic latency changer if that makes sense you can actually change it yourself if you want to and what that does is that depending on the game that you're playing it would go through either a height latency or a low latency or a mid latency change so that way when you're pressing on the keys it would register depending on the game that you're playing so if a game let's say it's much slower paced or it, just, it has lower latency then playing on a higher latency may be too you know quick for the game and it might actually be a very bothersome so it might feel too fast so by changing it to a low latency you will then be able to then play at a much more accurate pace to what the latency is in the game so you can actually change the latency by holding down the option button and then by either pressing the the two kick button of your levelless it will actually change it to the one that you want to change it to, which is automatic. But then to the low, mid, and high latencies, if you want to change it to specifically to that, then you have to then press other keys on your level list to then program that. I already have it in automatic, I'm not gonna change it to low, high, and so forth. So without further ado, I'm going to go into a few games and then see exactly how well I play. I have been practicing a little bit with the level list, but I am not completely, how should I say, savvy with the controller. So I will mess up on a couple of things here and there, but I'm not going to be playing ranked for the sake of, you know, my, my points and my titles. So I won't end up losing them. But besides that, I'll go into player matches, play a few games and see how everything feels. I tried doing it again. Yeah, I need to work on holding up. What? Nice. Then I go for the high one. Ah, he fucked up. 
unfortunate. Nice block. Good, he launched me. I try to see that he's gonna go for a low or not. Okay. I, not, I wasn't trying to do that. There we go. Shit. I did. Can I go for up? I forget the butt up. <laughs> Got him. I forget that this button is the up button. No, I could have actually flashed, but I forget the flash. Right there. This is the button, this is the button, not the other button. Nice, back one. I'm dead here. I cannot do bring him back, guess I can't seem to do it well. Well, okay. I'm gonna do it again, but I didn't get it. I'm not getting it. Nice duck. What? Oh, I must have pressed down. That's not what. Again. A wrong key. I keep thinking that this is up. This is not up, that's down. I forget. What is with the constant whiffing? I didn't even do that. I didn't even mean to do that. How does a simple backstab beat that? that? What? Well. There we go. I'm trying to get that to work for, for a while.
How does that not actually give me... I I'm confused. I messed up the combo, but I got it. Press for a board. Alright, wrong button. Yeah, he's not using that one in the top. Why does that not work? I'm trying to go for... Again, I keep forgetting. This is not the up button. Oh my god! Oh shit! You win. I didn't think you can flash that. I guess he was close enough because I was towards the wall, that's probably why. I hate that that happens. I don't even know how I even did that. I keep forgetting. I I messed up there. Round three. Fight. He still caught me. You saw how where he was facing too, right? And I still got hit by that. Nice, that's, that was too late. Too slow for me to do that. That combos? I thought he messed it up by pressing 4. That's not what I tried doing. Oh, I ran out of... okay. I ran out of heat, that's why. I hate that that whips. Oh, my blocking is on point! Even with this controller, I am somehow managing.
he did it two times. Oh, I guess I did down forward two two times. <laughs> That's probably why. I stepped you, dude. I definitely stepped him too, that's the funny part. I can't believe I got him. <laughs> I got him good, dude. I was trying to go for the command grab, but I, I was having a hard time doing it. Because I'm pressing... I think I'm pressing the right keys, but uh, I'm not pressing them simultaneously quickly enough, I guess? So, alright, I guess that's everything that I can show you guys now. I Again, I'm still very unfamiliar with the controller. I do want to practice a little bit so I can get better with it. But I still prefer playing on a gamepad, essentially this one right here. This is the gamepad that I keep rambling and complaining about that's having issues. Again, I'm not lying to you that this controller is having issues. This is nice. I, I like this, but I just need to get used to using it. Still, I play pretty well. I just need to get better at, like, it's almost, it's almost like, like brain recognition, uh, recognizing that this button here is the up button and not this. Because I keep thinking that this, which is the down key is actually again the down key not the up key so i need to recognize that this is the up key and not the other buttons because in fact i was trying to do this the command grab and I, I kept forgetting how to do it i keep thinking that i had to press these two keys but it's these two keys that i gotta press to do the one plus two so besides that you will probably see me use this uh, controller a lot more often now um, probably more so with characters that are not as execution heavy as Yoshimitsu I'm gonna try and see if I can play with Kazuya with this controller to be honest uh, and other characters that may require certain types of movement to be done I want to try it out on the controller and see how well it is if it's easier or if it's harder I'm gonna see that so guys if you want your own controller if you want your own Master S3 wireless levels controller I will give you guys a link to the controller itself the Amazon link as well as the website link so that way you can buy directly from the website if you want and here it's the website itself so again it's very pricey for what it's uh, for but I would assume that a lot of other controllers are the same that level S RK6 the at least the good ones are tend to be very pricey and this one is actually quite dope for what it does and yeah that's about it the one thing I will say about this controller is that it's not functional with the PS5 or the Xbox series consoles you require a converter just to be able to play it on the PS5 and the Xbox series it consoles if you want to be able to then play on that so you need a converter to be able to play on it and it also brings its own Essentially, it brings this device. Essentially, you can put your own phone, your own smartphone on it if you want to play games, connect it to your uh, arcade wireless controller thingy. So you can you can do essentially do it on that if you want. If you guys like what you watch, give it a like, subscribe, and yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. Stay safe.